It's so weird, it's so dark. Like, what is this? <sighs> okay, three, two. What's going on guys, Kevin the Movie Dealer here, and I am doing a special video on who do I think is the better Batman, Christian Bale or Ben Affleck. Now, yes, there are others, as, such as Adam West and uh, Michael Keaton, but I wanted to focus on the two actors that most people know or really talking about lately on who's playing Batman, and that's really Christian Bale and Ben Affleck. Now, some of you may not know, Christian Bale has been in three Batman films, and Ben has only been in, I could say two, since he does have a small role in Suicide Squad, but a pretty good one, pretty good one. Now, what I'm gonna go over is what I think are some good things about Bale's character and some bad things, and the same thing with Ben's. And I'm gonna give you my overall thought on who I think portrays Batman better, or is a better adaptation, if you will. All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's start off with Christian Bale's Batman. Now, the things that I don't like about Christian Bale's Batman is, well, obviously the voice. Though, in the first two films, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, it doesn't really bother people as much, and it doesn't really bother me. It's The Dark Knight Rises, where it gets really silly in a way, because there's, in that movie, so many people know who he is, and yet he still does the voice. Um, and he's not very intimidating, that's another thing. He's not a very timid, intimidating looking guy. Like his Batman. Like the first Bat suit in Batman Begins, yeah, it was pretty stereotypical Batman costume and it was pretty intimidating in a way. Uh, but I didn't think uh, the other version, the one where he can turn his neck, I don't think that one was very intimidating looking. Um, but there are things that I do love about this Bale's Batman, Christian Bale's Batman, and that's uh, just his morals, like his morals in the film, that is spot on Batman. His his one rule, uh, how he deals with certain things, uh, just stuff like that, and how he is with other people. It's, it is kind of dead on with Batman. Um, and the main important one is how strict he is on his number one rule, because that is a very important thing with Batman's characters, that he doesn't kill. Like Superman kills, Green Lantern kills, Batman does not kill, and that's a fantastic, uh, and it's fantastic, and it's portrayed fantastically in the Dark Knight movies. And also, just the overall movies are fantastic. They are, they are. I will say though that I do think the Nolan films did held uh, Warner Brothers back for uh, doing a DC universe because I feel like they wanted to do a DC universe like, like, uh, like before the first Avengers movie came out, but they were kind of held back because of a. Uh, of the Nolan films. And that kind of also goes back to the point of uh, just certain things that I didn't like. And the main thing is that that movie had, those movies had boundaries. This Batman had boundaries of certain characters they could use. Like, yeah, they used the Joker, Bane, Scarecrow, Ra's al Ghul. But there are certain characters that they just absolutely could not use because of how realistic this Batman is. That's like Robin, um, Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Clayface, and all these other characters that they really just could not use because it just wasn't realistic enough. So let's move on to Ben's. Ben's Batman, I think like most huge beloved comic book Batman fans should at least enjoy this Batman because he is so, he is so close to the comics than most. He really is. Um, most other Batmans have ever been used. Like his costume is just spot on in The Dark Knight Returns. He's very intimidating. Ben is like jacked as hell. And what I love most is that there are no boundaries. There are no boundaries to this Batman when it comes to what villains or characters they can use. They can use, uh, yeah. if we can do a Killer Croc right, I think we can do any character. If if they do it right. They can do a Mr. Freeze, they can do a Poison Ivy, they can do Clayface, stuff like that, those type of characters, if they do it right. But what I think I love most about this Batman is that he is a veteran Batman. He's a veteran Batman. He's been Batman for 20 years. Every single Batman we've gotten is like 
a guy that's either been Batman for a couple months or maybe a year or two. Like, Christian Bale's Batman, like, if you really do the math out, he was really only Batman for probably, like, a year and a half. That's it. This Batman's been around for 20 years, and that's why I love the most. Which opens the doors with... that? <sighs> which opens the doors to a lot of things, like the Red Hood storyline. Like, we see in the... We see in Batman and Superman the whole uh, Robin costume, and we learn that it is Joker who kills him, so we can go down that story arc, which is fantastic. It's a great thing, and I think that could be an amazing movie. So, well, let's think of this. What are things I don't like about this Batman? Hmm. What comes to mind? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, nothing's coming to mind. Uh... I believe you. Yeah, this Batman straight up kills. And you know, it wouldn't bother me if it was if there was a point to it. Like say in Batman and Superman that's the reason why Clark does not like Batman because he kills his he kills criminals he he doesn't care I mean, he doesn't kill like the big time criminals he kind of kills like just the middle guys the paid help but still he still kills them and it just played it had nothing to do with the movie no Superman didn't like Batman because he was branding people and they were getting thrown in prison and then they would just get killed by some other criminal. Like, he didn't, Superman didn't really care that Batman had killed people. He didn't. And I just thought, like, ooh, like, the, then Batman killing serves no purpose in this film. Yeah, you can say, yeah, he's rugged, he's broken. Yeah, but you know, you can do that in, in, in other ways than him killing. Like, I would play some role in the solo Batman film, because in Batman or Superman, it just, it doesn't, like, they just do it like it doesn't matter. But, I have to say, final thoughts. If I had to say who is my favorite Batman, I would go Ben. I, I can't help it. Like, I just take Ben a lot more seriously than I took Christian Bale. I just do. Um, to me, Ben just really, other, besides him killing people, Ben just really captures that character the way I would just imagine seeing him in, on screen. You know, it, other, like, really, there's only two things that bother me, and that's the fact that he kills, and, yeah, I'm not that big a fan that it's Batman that symbols the Justice League, because that's not really a Batman thing to do, but it, I can get over that. This Batman, he, Ben makes him so charming, and yet so broken down. And that's just something we've never seen before. And the fact that really every single actor that has played a Batman character in this new universe, in this reboot, really does look like their characters. They really do. Jared, Margot Robbie, J.K., Simmons, uh, Jeremy Irons as Alfred. That's another thing, too. I love this Alfred. I love the new Alfred. But just overall, I just think this Batman universe could go somewhere very... Uh, unique and different and it could really just look like a great comic book film to me if they do it right if Ben can do it right since he's directing and writing but overall guys I would say Ben is my favorite Batman I think Ben just nails the role in my opinion and I can't wait to see what else he does with this character especially in his solo film everyone's looking forward to his solo film because people really enjoy this new Batman well, guys, that is my thought. That is who I believe is the better Batman over Christian Bale and Ben Affleck. Comment below. Tell me what you think of this. Who is your favorite Batman? Or how do you think Christian Bale is maybe better than Ben and vice versa? Comment below. Let me know what you think. You guys stay classy. Catch you later.